Hi, it's David Gom in the Glass Studio, and we're going to take you on an odyssey. Back in August, we started on a project, and so it lasted four months, August, September, October, November. Four months. Oh man, was it ever a big deal. It started out that we were going to build two side lights and a large panel. And as I got to drawing it up and thinking about it, I told Jeannie I just did not think we could do it. I did not think that we could do this large of a panel. And so I told her that she was going to have to call the lady back and turn down the project. Well, Jeannie had a different idea because we had already accepted payment for half of it. And she didn't want to turn down the project, so she and the client came up with an idea where they would, we'd build the two side panels, and then the great big middle one, we would split into three different panels, and that's exactly what we did. Here we go on this great adventure. This is a, this is a, proof that it can all happen and that you can overcome the um, the little um, obstacles that hit hit in your way that come up you can you just find ways to overcome them and so I think you'll enjoy this this video okay Greg just dropped off this beautiful I think it's about a six foot by six foot square frame that we've developed and so I'm, I'm about to stain it and uh, you don't have to see the whole process here's what I do when I have to stir a little tiny can I take a piece of scrap zinc because I have more scrap zinc than I know what to do with and I use that to stir it up. It doesn't take much. It's not like paint. I'm wearing latex gloves to protect my hands. This is knotty alder. He told me that that knot in the, in the alder is the worst of all the knots. The most dramatic. Okay, so here we go. Just gonna put a quick stain. This stain is called Special Walnut. Now, this framework is made specially so that. You know, they have a six-foot window that they want to fill in their home. But uh, we couldn't build one that big because, look, we would have had to build a special table. And honestly, I couldn't uh, reach this far across to, to be able to solder. So we broke it up into three pieces so that we would have the the space to build it. And here we are just and that doesn't that give it a nice beautiful rich tone. This is wonderful wood. It's a very tight grain. It holds the stain well and it's sturdy enough that when we put the stained glass in it it'll work just right. It'll be a very good strong framework to hold it all. Now we've got the three pieces that go in here side light, side light, middle piece 
and uh, they're they're completed. Except that I have to put some outer bar on them. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this front and back, and then I'll be back with the uh, with the outer bar. Okay, the first thing you got to do when you're putting the edge on a window, and that's what I'm doing right now, is you got to spread the spread the metal apart. Now, I've got a fid here, and I use the back side of the head, and I put it down here, and you can really tell when the metal's been spread. If you look in carefully, you see there's a little bit of a gap right there. Now up here there is not a gap because that hasn't been spread just yet. So and I know on this part I particularly need the metal to be spread well because I've got some so many different wild edges. Look how that is spread. That's really good. Oh, buddy. There we go. This is why I like this particular fid, because it does such a good job spreading your, your metal apart. Come on. It's, this part right here is wider. So it's good to spread it mostly with this and then get that wider tip in there. Okay. Now as you're putting your metal onto onto your glass, it's really handy to already have a, a nail in the other side. That will hold it from traveling on you. And so I know now So you can see that that's on, on there somewhat, but I'm not really too happy with that. Nope, look how far, uh, far this extends. Now I know that this piece of glass went out to the edge the way it's supposed to. So right there is where I want it. And now Did you see how far this went up to the glass as I put it on? I've got to have this up nice and tight to where we designed it to go where it won't fit into this beautiful framework. This does see how that comes up and it then it goes back. 
If that doesn't fit, then I'll have to grind that little part down. But I don't think that'll be a problem. nailing you want to make sure and cover up have your fingers around the nail did you see that on this one I just missed the nail and hit my thumb and that's exactly what I want to do if I miss I do not want to hit the glass because my thumb doesn't hurt anymore but if I hit the glass, I might have cracked it and then I'd have to fix it. these saws online and the guy was really making fun of it and I just thought he just doesn't know what the proper use of this saw is because this really is a dinky <laughs> it's a dinky tiny saw and it's not good for much but it sure is good for cutting zinc. And so now, How you can really tell that spread because it's you can see it's much wider than it was and now this fits on here perfectly I don't have a nail at the other end and that worries me a little bit but it might slide on me Okay, so we've got the first one with all of the it's zinc on it and it's cleaned and patinaed and fits like a glove. We wouldn't want it any looser, but look how great that fits. And now I'm going to just pop it out. I'm just going to...
because I'm not going to mess around with all the glass in it until they're all done and they've all been fit. One of the things about this thing is that Greg went to the client's house and did some measuring and then to make sure that the measurements that they'd given us were just right. He said that gave him all kinds of stress because he has to worry about it. And I thought, you know, that's really true because I haven't had to stress about it because I'm pretty reasonably sure that Greg's going to do a great job. And this is the this is the telling piece because it really fits perfectly. And um, man, putting this metal on this piece of glass makes it a lot stronger. Look at that. It's not near as wobbly as it was. Okay, talk to you later. All right, now since these windows are so long, they would not be convenient to take over to the saw and hold them and then run them through the saw. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing the saw to myself. Now first I take this table off of the saw now I've got the blade exposed. Let's see. You want to be careful. same time and that gets it so all right now Jeannie's gonna uh, patina this we'll flip it over and I'm gonna solder the corners Okay, now this is Jeannie's idea, which I thought was a great idea, is that we stand the frame up and then fit the window into it. I don't know if I can... I guess I'm going to need you to help me with this so you'll have to quit filming. As you can see, it fit in here perfectly side to side and it's got a little bit of a gap up at the top. We'll uh, lift that up when we actually put it in permanently. Um, and then the, the other side panel is the one that fit over here and it fit in really tight and really well. Okay, one thing that I didn't mention earlier, and this is the last piece of metal that I have to do this to. When you're uh, spreading your, um, your, your metal with your FID, the back edge really does fit um, in, in there better. 
than the than the forward edge. And if you will turn the fid slightly as you push along, you'll see how the metal springs open nice and wide. And this is important uh, on on this particular piece because these uh, these edges are <laughs> very irregular because we've got so many different types of of glass. And so now it'll fit right on here and it'll go right over right over the edge just like I want it. And you see that didn't even hardly take any pounding at all. I got to get these as tight as I can because there's just not that extra that much extra room in the framework. Okay, that's my that's the end of that tip. <laughs> Okay, well we've got a thin bead of caulking, silicone, um, on this, and now I'm putting some clamps on so that it'll stay in place over the night time. Sure, if I can get one on the bottom there. Just let's go to the side. Okay, I think that's going to do it, and that is the way it'll ride on its way to going to its final destination. How? Go get some tape and tape it if you want to do that. Gorgeous colors. Love it.
brauchst du mehr Zeit. I've got some Sprite for that. Yeah. And look. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my Oh, my stomach. <gasps> oh shit. into glass. I collect a lot of glass from the Israeli. Yeah, I was noticing oh, the Israeli artists. Over here as well. Beautiful. Very oh, funny. gee. Oh, <laughs> it is spectacular. Oh my gosh, yeah, really genie. Nice with that brain, you genie, know? <laughs> you are. I, I, I have no words. <laughs> oh, I love. I'm crazy about it. <gasps> Bobby, look, I really feel now like I'm in a Brooklyn brownstone and my husband's the rabbi. <laughs> we gotta grow a beard, but yeah. Yeah, we'll be a Oh, Jeannie. Oh my gosh. Oh, Jeannie. Well, it got here safe. Words. Yes. And let me tell you, the wooden frame is spectacular. Isn't it? Yes. Sets it off. Spectacular. Didn't Greg do a nice job on that? <laughs> you know what? Above and beyond. Now, Bob, I can see a little bit of white coming through this top edge here. And so what I think you'll want to do is you'll take some uh, clear caulking, just a little thin bead along there, Will. Seal it. And you know, it doesn't even bother me. If I you know. hadn't mentioned it, I never would have noticed it. We would have at some time. No, honest to God, no. I see what you're talking about, but it doesn't bother me. It almost looks like it's an integral part of the artwork. Well, see, Bob will do it. That's okay, Bob. Here. I see the space. Yeah. So you have to look at it at yeah. an angle because yes. that I is see. actually the metal back behind Are we going to push so that piece more into the frame? That, that corner, right there? yeah. Yeah, it's coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's gorgeous. Oh my God. Can you believe it? Okay, One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Here, let's lean it back a little bit. It's. That's feeling oh, pretty good right there. It's just not too tall. Oh. Really? Yeah. Better me? That's why it's going to work. I'm going to go get those cutting knives. Okay. And then we're going to coercion.
Wasn't that fun seeing that final piece completed? Thanks for being with us. We appreciate your viewership, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.